Parents from across the country are in Vancouver tonight trying out the first privately run hyperbaric chamber in Canada. Anna Walner is here with that story and more. Anna? Thanks, Ross. The hyperbaric care clinic opened less than a week ago now, and some parents say they're already seeing changes in their children, children who are suffering from cerebral palsy. Inside the hyperbaric chamber, this little boy is undergoing therapy for his cerebral palsy. It's his fourth day at the hyperbaric care clinic in Coquitlam. His parents have traveled here with him from Montreal, and already they say they're seeing improvements. He's able to, you know, step, uh, uh, move the left hand and the right hand, right feet. You're and uh, yes, this is very good for us. It is the very privately run hyperbaric chamber in Canada. They're basically sitting there with hoods on, breathing 100% pure oxygen. The effect is similar to diving 25 feet underwater with an oxygen tank. And the theory for cerebral palsy is that pure oxygen can wake up dormant cells in the brain. Hyperbaric chambers have been used by athletes for years for sports injuries. Athletes were the intended clients here. But since the clinic opened last Thursday, all the demand has come from parents of children with cerebral palsy. We've seen good, very good results. We've seen increased in balance coordination, a very big reduction in spasticity, increased in speech and mobility. Before we were open, we've already had 3,000 treatments booked. Hyperbaric care is not a cure. These parents call it therapy, and the results are not guaranteed. Pediatricians point out hyperbaric care for children is unregulated and say there are still a lot of unanswered questions. So far, the studies haven't been completely looking at the effectiveness of the treatment and for side effects. And I think that's the safety issue that we're concerned about, whether or not there may be side effects, particularly for kids with CP that we don't know about yet. Sessions at the Coquitlam Clinic cost $100 each. Families usually sign up for 20 to 30 sessions at a time families willing to pay for private treatment. The parents have done the research, they're demanding this, they would much sooner go to their hospital and have Medicare cover it, but it's not available to them. Now doctors say studies on hyperbaric care for children are in the planning stages now, but in the meantime they urge anyone who's thinking of taking this route to do your research and be informed. You can get some information on the hyperbaric clinic in Coquitlam by calling our info line. The number is 872. Complications. A new study raises the possibility that the same kind of oxygen chambers used to treat divers for the bends could be effective in treating a debilitating disease. A group of Quebec doctors today released the first study on the use of hyperbaric oxygen chambers to treat cerebral palsy. And while the findings are very preliminary, they are good enough to spark more intensive study. Our health reporter, Linda Aylesworth, has the details. I've never been able to get my daughter to look me in the eyes. And when she now, she looks me in the eyes, and that's really amazing for us. At three and a half, Rebecca is full of thoughts, but they're mostly her secrets. Because she has cerebral palsy, a brain disorder that makes speaking and moving difficult, if not impossible for her. As you see, in a lot of cases, she'll probably be in a wheelchair. She'll probably be dependent on us for the, for the rest of her life. Um, at school-wise, you know, and you have dreams for your child, but in this case, we felt that maybe it was going to be hopeless. That's the way Chantel used to think, but not anymore. She and a growing number of parents with children like Rebecca are turning to hyperbaric oxygen therapy, something that was originally developed in the 30s to help divers recover from decompression sickness. It would be the same as diving in the ocean at 25 feet while breathing, not compressed air as scuba divers use, but breathing pure oxygen. They're getting 15 times more oxygen. Their body's absorbing it. So under pressure, your body can absorb the gases a lot more readily. The theory is that the treatments help the damaged parts of the brain to heal, improving the children's cognitive abilities and reducing the spasticity or tightness in their muscles. Each treatment lasts about an hour. Some have been in here over 50 times. What does everyone do to entertain the children? <laughs> oh, well, I sing most of the time. I entertain them all. Some of the time to take naps, too. They're very comfortable, so they can take naps. And it's kind of nice for the parents. Gets us a chance to be able to talk. <laughs> oh, yes, we've traded all kinds of ideas in yeah, here. Exactly, and exactly. So it's kind of a socializing thing, too. It's wonderful. Okay, switching O2 on now. This massive chamber, bought from the U.S. Navy by a Coquitlam company, is so popular, there's a nine-month waiting list to use it. But does it really help? 
Today, results from the first clinical study on the subject, conducted by McGill University in Montreal, were released. The results are promising. Uh, it's just a pilot study, a sample of 25 children. There's a long ways yet to go. I'm hopeful that a new treatment like this might have some effect, but until we see a randomized clinical trial, we have to be cautious. Dr. O'Donnell, who specializes in disorders like cerebral palsy at Sunny Hill Health Center for Children in Vancouver, suggests parents don't get their hopes up just yet. There potentially is something there. Um, this treatment may have an effect, but I think at this point we still don't really know um, why those children in the study in Montreal improved, and we don't know whether there were side effects. At least I don't know whether there were side effects that they experienced. And so we really need to still find that out. I never believed that Rebecca would go so far as she has now. And now I have hope that she's going to be able to go even further. But for Chantel, who says her daughter can sit up on her own for the first time, hyperbaric oxygen is a godsend, and no one can tell her otherwise. Like how much does this mean to a mother? <laughs> well, it means the world because as a mother, you feel, you feel guilty about what's happening to your child and you really you want to do everything for them. Now I'm seeing so much progress in, so li in little time that oh, <laughs> I can't tell you how, how much it is. It's just seeing your child progressing. We're seeing so much more. We're happy. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> we're so pleased. Hey, Shwet. Hey, we're so happy.